And now for the not so good news, Andy. Real interest rates moving higher in emerging economies. This is going to cause a lot of problems for companies scaling back their investments. Yes, Tara, you're absolutely right. In fact, we have a breaking news analysis which shows a strong negative correlation between real or producer price inflation adjusted interest rates and investments in emerging markets, meaning that these two move in lockstep but in opposite directions. Now, why is that important? We saw that in 2009 when real interest rates shot up in the aftermath of the financial crisis, investments in emerging markets both in Asia and Latin America plunged. Then we saw a recovery in 2010 led by negative real interest rates. Yes, negative. But now the global cheap money era is ending and real rates are climbing higher. So watch out for an investment strike in emerging markets. Let's look how this translates into Asia and China. Real interest rates very high on this chart you've produced. Uh, yes, Tara, and that's because you have producer prices deflating, not just disinflating, but, but deflating in China, which makes investors very, very worried. Now, it's not a surprise that the Chinese economy is therefore slowing down. Investments aren't taking place in China at the break, breakneck speed that one used to associate uh, with that country not so long ago. Capturing Latin America, Chile, the major outlier here. Yes, and once again, massive increases in real, real cost of capital in Chile, and once again, the culprit is falling producer prices. Now, at the end of the day, one would hope for rich nations to buy more and pay more for their imports from emerging markets so that disinflation in, in developing countries can come to an end and investments can revive. But rich nations simply don't want to import. They all want to export, in fact. So where will, where will producers in emerging markets get pricing power from? And why will they want to invest in new capacity? Now that's going to be, in my opinion, a big worry for the global economy, not just emerging markets, but the global economy in 2014. And also, obviously, for investors, real interest rates are moving higher in emerging economies.